everybody, it's Joan Nicole from I'd Flip That, and as you can see, we were using the estatesales.net app this weekend and went and checked out some estate sales in the cities. Um, the pictures here are from one in, uh, what, Eden Prairie. Eden Prairie. Yeah, so we were hoping they'd have some fancy schmancy stuff, and they kind of did. They did. Um, they had some cool watches. They had a lot of nice high-end clothes and shoes and, well, and some bags, which were fun. What else, Joe? What did you find? Uh, they... They had some Xbox 360s they wanted $40 for. And if the picture on the left, there's a skateboards back there. They were motorized skateboards, but somebody already grabbed both of them. And I don't oh, know what the prices so were. Oh, so sad. Yeah. I, Actually, we only ended up, what, getting two things at this sale. Yes. We, we got some boots. What were they? Um, the Sorrel boots. Oh, yeah, Sorrel boots and then, and then a the hat. hat. Um, they had, but you could tell it was a couple that, they said, I don't know, it was just a young couple, kind of. You could tell their stuff was pretty modern. Okay, here's the bags. Um, they had a nice Louis Vuitton and a, Ling a Dooney and Burke there. But see that cute Gucci backpack? I wanted it so bad. And I thought I deserved it because I have quit drinking Diet Coke for 27 days. So I probably saved Joe the $350 that it's worth. <laughs> but he didn't buy that. Um, but this lady said you could put a bid on it. And I've never heard of that, you know. And Joe said, you I haven't, haven't either. either. So, so we like, put a bid, and we um, so we're wait we're waiting to hear from them because if we have the highest bid, then we get it at our price. It's kind of like a silent auction, right? So, like when the price goes down, half price is going to be tomorrow. So if it's if your bid, bid is higher, yeah, to cover that one seventy five at half price. So we'll see. Yeah. So cross your fingers for me. Here are some more video game things again. It. I just looked at them. Joe thought they had too each. high of prices and it's on like stuff. Each thing was separate. Like the controller was separate from the video oh, game. Oh, that's kind of silly. There's some right. board games they I had. I looked into those. Nothing that was anything special at all. A few of them I'd never seen before, but they were. Well, and there was a lot of people here. It, it looked was, huge, yeah. but it was like one room warehouse. And they had a, I mean, they must have sold everything they own and like ran away to live in the jungle or something really cool like that. Because, right. I mean, it was all their clothes, all their shoes, high end shoes, cool Prada shoes. I can't remember the other ones I saw. They weren't my size. Joe's probably happy about that. Um, but they had a lot of like furniture, housewares, just, you know. The, everything, yeah, it, everything they everything. owned, it kind of seemed like. But unfortunately, I think a lot of people already grabbed some of the good stuff. So we left with two things. That was it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Monday with, you know, half off might be more interesting with, you know, things worth grabbing. But this one caught my eye. I was like, I don't even want to touch it to grab it to see what model the, or brand or whatever it was. But then I thought shipping thing. would be crazy. So... Yeah, and here's the furniture. Um, I mean, it was it was cute and contemporary stuff that you would see people would put in their house. Okay, and this dog I thought was super cute, but we like didn't really have a place for tall. it. tall. It was pretty cool looking. What was but it, a hundred or something? Yeah, like hundred bucks or something for the so, thing. So it was fun. But we didn't end up with that much. We did stop at another one, though, and coming up in the next part of the video, you can see what Joe found. All right, so... Here's the two things that we grabbed from the estate sale. We paid $10 for these Sorrel boots. They're so cute, this green and pink, but that's the bad news because I don't look things over good enough. And I was holding them too, but okay. I didn't look at them either. We missed. The well, little thing is supposed to be the class right broke. there and it broke off. So I'm going to try and glue it and see, but... I mean, yeah. we'll have to still, you know, call it out and whatever. Oh, right. But otherwise... They're beautiful. I mean, the They're, like, brand new. Right. They're super so, cute. And then Nicole found a Pirelli hat. I, I don't even know what that is. It's a racing... Oh, I just knew with the things on the bill like that, people like that fancy shit. Yeah, the scrambled eggs. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, yeah. For real? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so two things because Joe, again, wouldn't buy me the Gucci backpack. So we'll see. Tomorrow we should find out, right? Yes. 
Otherwise, I have to just go buy one flat out. But you just have to now. Well, yeah, now I have my heart set on it. Well. Uh, anyhow, okay. Joe also dragged us to, my sister and I, to this other estate sale. Seriously, you guys, when we pulled in, it was like some tools in the garage, and I didn't even know we could go in. It was weird. And I thought we could by reading everything that was in the description, but the lady didn't say nothing. She no. just was sitting in her kitchen. So finally, I just asked if there was stuff inside also, and she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, come in. There's tons of stuff inside. Right. There was like six things inside. So Kelly and I kind of looked really fast and left, and then we're waiting and waiting and waiting in the car, and we... I'm like, Joe is either, like, looking at old toys that he asked them about in their attic, right. which would have been great. I didn't ask either. Joe, but they, the power of the ask. But I no. know. Um, or I'm like, he's telling them all about our channel, or I don't know, he's, you know, I didn't know, but he was gone forever. I thought he forgot about us. Right. So when you guys are looking around, I saw this bag, and I'm like, okay, I've heard of this Babolat brand, because people talk about it. For tennis. For tennis, Did yep. you call Bubba and ask Bubba about it? I did not. Okay. Because... Joe's got a Bubba friend who is like a tennis pro, so... Pretty close. Oh, pretty close. Kind of. So then, um, I knew right away, I go, oh, how much is a tennis bag? Because I opened it quick and I saw there was three rackets. But I didn't even really look at the rackets. And she's like, five or ten dollars. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I looked in the closet because they had some North Face jackets, like a 700, which I guess... That high of a number means it like super crazy, insulated, warm, yeah. warm, whatever, you know, thermal. But they had weird stains on the sides of the jackets, and I'm like, I'm not oh, going to bother yeah. with that. I didn't even ask what the price is for that. So then I, was, I came back, and I was like, okay, so what did you say for this? I go, five or ten? And she goes, ah, you can just make it five. With the rackets? Yes. And there's a whole bunch of tennis balls, so Mabel's going to have plenty of fun chasing tennis balls around. Right. It's probably worth it <clears> for that. Right. So I'm like, okay, I'll take this for five. And then I went in the garage again, and I saw some battery chargers, which do well because people either the battery charger breaks or the battery itself breaks. And this other guy was looking at some Milwaukee tools or was asking about it. Yeah, there was a lot of tools. And she's like, oh, a lot of those tools are already sold. So then he's like, oh, what about these chargers? As I'm looking at one of the Milwaukee chargers. Uh. And she's like, oh, uh, let me... Talk to my husband or boyfriend or whatever, who's not there. I'm like, okay, if you're going to do this, and, and you don't nothing know. nothing had prices. Nothing Yeah, prices. it was really rinky-dinky. So she's like, oh, you know, I think he said five bucks for the Milwaukee ones. And then um, I go, what about the DeWalt one? And then she, he's like, five bucks or whatever. So finally. You got one. I got this How one. How much will that sell for? About $35. Oh, okay. But then they had a really cool travel, like a heavy duty backpack thing that had tags on it still but it was a little bit dirty so I don't know if you know I think it was dirty from just sitting on the shelf and I right. quick looked it up because it sometimes those not go really well and she's I asked this is the guy who was on the phone again with she was on the phone with her guy and he's like oh 75 bucks and I looked and a used one sold for 85 oh. and I'm like I don't know if I can really get away with saying this is new because it's got some dirt on it but right. I left it I maybe should have got it or looked into it a little bit more, but I didn't. So, so ten dollars, but yeah. So thirty five for this. I've already got this bag listed for thirty nine. I've got uh, oh another here. So the rackets that were in the bag. There's a Babolat racket. That one I have listed for forty nine. Um, this one is a Gamma. I don't. Yeah, I don't, don't know much about rackets, so I'm like trying to look up these six. They're looking in pretty good condition, don't they? Yeah, I mean, there's some scuffs. Oh, okay. But you know what? I think, I mean, it, it's the super nice, crazy, lightweight rackets that people like, I guess. I don't know. So I have this one, I think, listed for 45 or 40 But then I looked up this Wilson one at the very end, and I have this listed for $99. What? I would have thought that's the cheaper of the three because it's, it's this like weird, Walmart this weird triad three there's something Whoa. else in it that I was like and if somebody offers me 75 there you sure. go but I paid five bucks for right ten dollars total so that's you know I mean we're looking at two hundred dollars right here if they paid full price right so totally we would have been covered almost for the Gucci bag and your wife would be super happy 
Okay, just kidding. I don't know why I even want it. Just because. Right. And it's I a, need backpack. a backpack. I need a backpack. Because my sister told me I need a backpack. Because I've been setting stuff down, like my purse and my wallet, when I'm out thrifting. Yeah. So she's like, I need a backpack. And then, like, what, the very next week, I find this backpack that's just calling out to me at an estate sale. Originally, what was it? Like $1,200? Probably. And... So this is and, what I don't get. Yeah. Mm. Normally, if you find something that is selling for uh, what way less than half, you would then, be all then, over it. Okay, so you won in the backpack, and it didn't really I occur to me that I'm like, okay, if we they want three fifty, if we paid the three fifty, and then I started looking up on eBay, and I'm like, okay, yeah. there's not like this. There's little ones that are selling for seven hundred. I'm sure. I think we found one big one that was a thousand still used. Right. And I'm like, okay. I mean, she could have used it for a little while and got bored with it. And right, like, because that's what happens. Yeah. I, but I know. You know what, though? There's a lot of used Gucci products and stuff like that. And then there is a matter of if it's authentic or not. Right. But I do, based on the stuff at that estate sale and just like oh, yeah, the, the shoes, the brand. I mean, she had product. She had a lot of really nice stuff. You could tell that. Yes. I mean... Uh, you, you never know, I guess. Right. But still. But yeah, that could have been scary. You paid that much money. Oh, it's not authentic when I go to list it on eBay, which they have to authenticate it. So I, I think you must have to send it in and eBay gives the approval and then sends it back to you for you to be able to sell that For product. stuff at a super high because price? Because when or? I was looking at things, especially, well, Gucci was the only one that I saw that had authentication. Oh, like it's Underneath and like process. a highlighted through yeah. eBay. But guaranteeing you're not getting The thing is, is a lot of the, um, the knockoffs, like oh. knockoffs Louis, Louis Vuittons and knockoff Gucci's, they, that's like what the price is. You know what I mean? So you just never know. But I, right. I think based on all the stuff they had there and her clothing and every, you know, yeah. Anyhow. Right. We'll find out. We'll find out tomorrow if it's ours and I'll have to do some research and then see if it's really authentic or not. Well, I mean, I, I don't think they charge hardly anything for you to list a Gucci authentic when you send it into them to check it over. I don't know. I got to check and see how they figure that out. I don't out. know if I like that. No wonder if they send you back a fakey. Uh, it's like brand I don't think got... eBay's going to want to do that. You know what? I've been watching a lot of stuff about jewelers doing that lately. So I don't have a lot uh, of um, trust hmm. in anyone these days. I just want my cute backpack, Joe. I know. Okay. We're, being, know. we're boring people now. So, yeah. Um, long was, story short, it was kind of a bummer estate sales. And it looked fantastic. Like, you saw the pictures that we talked about. Like, yeah. There's lots of stuff, but they were just overpriced. Yeah. At the time. It looked like a realtor took the pictures because the place looked gigantic. And you got there, huge. and it was one little room. But, um, but you know, they had a lot of people working there, and they were really organized. So, you know. Right. It was pretty cool. Anyhow, more to come, more to come, right? Yep. Okay, stay yep. tuned to see if I have my cute backpack. All right, guys? <laughs>